Hey guys, welcome to Political Fight Club. I'm Robert Durden, and in this episode, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about something I've been musing about uh, most of the day today. It's been a question asked on a couple of different shows, and uh, it's kind of been talked about for the last, I don't know, I've been seeing it for the last couple of months on the left. As far as the movement goes, do we need leaders for the movement? That's basically the question. And I believe that the question is too simplified to give it a good answer, and it needs to be broken down and given some nuance. The short answer I have is yes, I do believe that the movement will need leaders. The long answer is, is that I don't think that any of those leaders are going to come in the form of Congress people, and I think it's in fact a bad thing to idolize and to be led by people in Congress. I believe the leaders that we are going to need have to be those that lead by example. So the question should be, do we need leaders who don't lead by example in this movement? And the answer to that question is no. I believe that kind of naturally, with American culture, the way that we uh, consume entertainment and stuff like that, a lot of times we find ourselves grav gravitating to main characters in books, movies, shows, video games, stuff like that. So there is a sort of like psychological dopamine and serotonin rush that comes from witnessing somebody in a movie or a game or even a sporting event who appears to be the leader who is leading their people or their side to victory, that's just kind of built into the American psyche. So I think that we behaviorally kind of need that. I don't think that we're going to get away from that idea of that there are people that are worth following as Americans simply because we are Americans. It's kind of built into the way that we tell stories and the way that we base our culture. You know, we idolize the founding fathers and, uh, you know, Mel Gibson and Braveheart, uh, Maximus, Decimus Meridius, and Gladiator. We tend to like really gravitate towards that type of person. But if those leaders don't promote themselves as leaders, they just do their thing, lead by example, and then people happen to gravitate towards them because they happen to have leadership qualities. I don't think that's a bad thing. And I think it, Chris Hedges recently talked about this when he was on Crystal Kyle and Friends. He's like talking about how in anarchist groups, they are all leaders. They all consider each other leaders in different ways, and they all try to lead by example, but there's no like superiority status endowed upon themselves as leaders. So it's, it's a complicated question. I don't think that we need any self-idolizing or self-promoting leaders who think that they can tell everybody else what to do and act smarter than everyone without actually getting in the trenches and helping themselves. I don't think that anybody should tell a whole bunch of other people what to do if they themselves are not kind of going out and trying to facilitate and lead by example. But if you have a whole bunch of people that really care about the leftist movement, that really care to go out there and fight like I really want everybody to do, if your ideas are good, and you articulate yourself in a certain way, and you act in a certain way, try to lead by example, naturally, I believe people will see you as a leader, even if you don't even see yourself as a leader, and those types of leaders will be key. I think that that is important, and there will be, in my opinion, I hope, I hope, that there will be thousands of these leaders in the movement. I don't ever see a movement the way that Kyle Kalinske does, where it's, oh, Bernie's the king. Let's follow the king. Let's try to promote another person to King Bernie, like Nina Turner, so we can all follow them. No, I tend to see movements as having hundreds, if not thousands, of leaders who gain the respect and they gain the following that they did from the people by going out there and grinding and doing what they think other people should do and leading by example. I, lo I love to see you know um, a movement that's sort of like the civil rights movement in this country where there's numerous leaders, but if we can do that even beyond that in America today, where there's not just a handful or 10 or 15 or 20 or 50 leaders, if we had thousands of leaders, that would be the way that the movement actually gets done, and I think that that is necessary. Americans are just kind of, they, they use iconography a lot to motivate 
symbology. You know, if I tell you um, V from V for Vendetta, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. If I say some of those other characters that are, you know, either fictional or real, that are in movies or books that we've all read, that we all consider to be heroes that were also humble, you guys know what I'm talking about. Let's, you know, this is why I like Jesus. I am, I'm atheist, but I do very much like enjoy the teachings a lot of a lot of these prophets i think that they were probably pretty cool awesome people in real life that doesn't mean that i'm gonna be a christian but jesus seemed pretty goddamn cool and that's because he tried to like lead by example he didn't want anything out of it he wanted to just like make people love each other and take care of each other and they naturally gravitated towards him i don't see that as a poor person to follow i don't see that as a poor or inherently like inherently like corruptible type of leader so i hope that makes sense so i i was really thinking about it a lot today i do think that it is useful to have people that have leadership qualities kind of lead by example but not promote themselves to any higher status than any of their followers and if we can have hundreds or thousands of those in the movement then the movement has a chance at being successful. But I do not think it's a good idea to like go, well, let's just try to get all of the progressives to follow Nina Turner or, you know, Bernie Sanders. I, I don't see a singular entity as being the leader of a movement as particularly helpful. I, I think it's, you know, idolatrous. I think it's worshiping somebody that doesn't necessarily need nor even want that much of a following and to be treated like a god and to put themselves on a pedestal above all of the people that they are leading. I, I don't think that type of leader is needed. That's the type of leader like Trump is. A lot of people like what he's saying and he's charismatic enough to get a base, but he definitely like sees himself as of a higher status than his base. Uh, that type of leader is detrimental and dangerous if they get into power, which it looks like they're going to. It looks like he's going to probably win in 2024, thanks to the Democrats. So that's neither here nor there. I'm just rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I put up a couple more episodes on Rockfin recently. I left my uh, roast up for about uh, a day, a little less than a day on YouTube, and then I put it up on Rockfin and took it off. So if you want to see it, if you missed it, I went a little crazy in that one. It was a good one. It's on Rockfin. Anyway, keep fighting that good fight out there, guys. I'll talk to you later.